So if you have a microbit that was not purchased from Furia Labs, you'll need to do a maintenance update before you can use it with CodeSpace. This puts the web USB support on it. So you'll first need to hold the reset button down and keep holding it down while you plug the USB cable in, then you can release. Make sure the other end of the USB is connected to your PC, of course. And then click the help menu in CodeSpace and go down to the firmware download section. Here you'll click the maintenance link, which will download a maintenance hex file to the file system. Click on that maintenance hex file and show in Finder. So it'll open up the Finder, and then you should be able to drag that hex file over to the maintenance device that's actually uh, a flash drive that appears when you're in maintenance mode. So that's going to copy that maintenance hex file over to the micro bit. Then after a few seconds, you'll see the little notice that the, uh, the disk wasn't ejected properly, but it's just a micro bit restarting and you'll see a micro bit drive show up in place of the maintenance drive. So now you need to click on the micro Python link over in that firmware download page. That'll bring in a micro Python hex file to the file system. And then go back to the finder and make sure you click on the micro Python hex file this time and drag MicroPython hex file over to the microbit drive. That'll take a few more seconds to copy MicroPython over. And once it's finished copying, it's going to restart. The microbit will restart again. You'll get another one of those uh, disk not ejected properly messages. And you can just close those out because now you've got a fully upgraded microbit. So then you can go in CodeSpace to the USB icon, click on that, and it will bring up Chrome's device selector. So click CodeBot REPL and click Connect. And now you're ready to interact, click play, load some code onto the microbit. Welcome to CodeSpace.